Oh my goodness. But you but got anyway, it done. That's I got it done. Deal. I got it done. So yeah, um, I am uh, so grateful to you first, before we start talking about anything else, I want you to know how much I appreciate your selflessness. And um, it has a lot to do with how you presented yourself as an authentic, um, as a leader. Um, I stumbled up on you by accident. <laughs> um, I'll just tell a story. You haven't even asked a question, but you can just see how excited I am. I had a um, way home, was listening to the radio, and there was a commercial about somebody offering a course in unclaimed funds. Well, I myself have found unclaimed funds of my own to the tune to the tune of about thirteen hundred dollars. So yeah. I already knew how to do it. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, um, I can find any unclaimed funds for you, and I can pay you. You know, you owe me up front." And I was like, "Hmm, let me just see what he's doing." So I was being nosy. <laughs> <laughs> and I when I went to find out more information about it, your video popped up in the feed. Um, as you know, kind of associated. So I just clicked on it. Wow. And there you were. That was in January. And I started stalking you on, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. So let me stop and I'll just let you talk. That's awesome. No, no worries. That I mean, that's the, the best interviews are where I talk less. So it's all good. <laughs> so that was that was January of this year, 2023, when you first heard about me i did and so i did now, and now we're in october and you just had mm -hmm. your first deal pay out i did and this wasn't the first deal that i signed that's the crazy part about it oh interesting first deal, yeah the first deal that i signed um that's the one that when i finished the last module in your course mm -hmm. and it said make a phone call made yeah. a phone call and yeah. they answered and i was like oh Hello. <laughs> um, but uh, no, uh, we made the phone call, made, made the phone call and kind of just was winging it off of your script because I don't know how to read when I'm in public. I, I'm a best selling author, but I don't know how to read. <laughs> I've got to talk to somebody. So I was winging it and the family and it, but I did break your rule. It's a family with a lot of heirs. But um, I cut my teeth and, and I'm way ahead of the game now when it comes to dealing with heirs. Yeah. But they were excited and it's a smaller one and they need it. So I, I signed them and met them here at a library right here at the end of my street. Oh. And because they are heirs and it was um, it was a tax overage. So they had to do some things with probate. So that one has been delayed. Yep. And, um, you know, when it pays out, it's just that much better. But when I. I followed your course. And for me, that's a huge thing because this isn't the first shiny object that I've ever bought. <laughs> it's not the first course. And I tell everybody, I've always got a shortcut to something. But when I bought your course, I was like, Patrice, do it the right way. Do what the mentor is telling you to do. <laughs> and I did it. Yeah. You know what you're doing. So so I just followed behind what you said and um, it worked. So. Yeah. Kudos to you for making a course, first of all, that helps people and that is easy to follow and for you being accessible because I've been in other communities where people, the, the leader is not accessible and it's just like, hello, is anybody there? I've got a question. So thank you again for that. And uh, it's just, today is a great day. I We found out on Friday, the 13th of October that the check was found out. Let me just clear up what I said at the beginning of this. The attorney didn't know that the check had been sent out. She oh, changed wow. her address. She changed her address and didn't tell the trustee. Oh, my goodness. And didn't tell me. Oh, man. So the check was sent out September 22nd, and it's just been bouncing around from place to place. And Oh, geez. Yeah. So I went back to those corporate days, and it was kind of like, yeah, no, we don't need <laughs> anyway um um that's just kind of how it went but i would recommend your course anytime i say anything about nick it's that nick is the real deal and this isn't a paid endorsement but i really do appreciate all that you share 
and how you stay in touch with us because when we have a question, this this is somebody's livelihood, not just me as somebody who's going through records, but this is affecting you know the population. Yeah. And the the post that I, I made yesterday, kudos to Nick. So I, I was following your auction.com strategy. And this one, the sale, I had downloaded the list, just like you said, yep. and turned everything off. So the sale starts at 10 o'clock. And this was the first property on the docket. I had been going to downtown to the sales, but I was like, you know, I could just watch it from my screen. Yeah. 1016, they updated to say that the the sale had on that property had closed. Yep. Said a little prayer, dialed her number, and she answered. Wow. The backstory is that she is embroiled in a very ugly divorce. Yeah. But but the house was hers when they got married. Ah. Got yes. It. So she didn't know anything about overages. She was like, You've got to be kidding. I was like, No, ma'am. Um, there's about $180,000 that is due to you. Wow. And as we talked, her house is, well, her neighborhood is maybe eight minutes from me. Okay. So the one thing that I didn't do was tell her that other people would call <laughs> and for her to tell her, tell them that she was already signed with me. So lesson learned yeah. because I quoted her a 20% commission and she called me later on that day, fired up. She said, I feel like you're trying to take advantage of me. I was like, hold on, <laughs> wait just a second. And she said, well, somebody offered me 5%. I said, you know what? That's unfortunate. And I can't do that. I, I'm going to give you better than 5% service. So um, I let her think about it. I said, you know, I'm right here down the street. I don't know where that other person is. Um, I can meet you in 15 minutes if that's what you want. And I said, you think about it. I'm not here to make make you feel any kind of way. Just let me know what you want to do. Nice. She called me back. And she's like, okay, um, let's sign the paperwork. So where we took that picture yesterday at that table is where the, the contract was signed on June 7th. Wow. We went back to the, to the original place. Um, and it took 106 days. Yeah. That's yep. 90 days plus about a week. And then, of course, an extra three weeks for us to find the check. But um, she was able to, you know, get the check. She's on her way to the bank right now to cash it. And I almost felt like that was my money yesterday, handing that over to her. It was just joy. Yeah. And she was so grateful. And we sat there and we talked. We, we Neither of us do Starbucks, but we just sat there to look important. But um, it was just, it was a really good feeling because I, as I shared with her, this opportunity for me was, overwhelming me because I wanted to own my time. I want financial freedom and I want to pay it forward to serve. And I had a great job in corporate America, but I don't feel like I was serving people. Mm. I feel like I was making money, really good money, but it was going to a great corporation who would give me an allowance every two weeks. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. That's what I did. And um, I kind of, things were going so well there, Nick. I was marketing, getting calls and getting clients. And some in June, I pulled back from marketing because I wanted to make sure that I could get this first sale through the pipeline. Well, the first sale stalled. Yep. <laughs> and then this would just sped by it. So uh, I still have about four other cases that I'm working on. And I know what works and I know what doesn't work. So again, I am so happy to, you know, join the Nick bandwagon because I really do appreciate how you've done this, how you set all of this up and how, um, just how this can work. And as I said, you know, Texas has 250. There's an argument. I don't care how big it is, but Texas is huge. Yeah. So I'm, I'm here in Dallas. And I've learned the Dallas way. So I'm I'm better at that. And I just think that there's enough work out here for everybody. So nice. Making the investment in the program. Look, I made what was it, two thousand dollars and yep. I'm almost at twenty thousand dollars in that one in that one case yesterday. So not a bad investment. 
not a bad investment at all, <laughs> at all. So um, I just, again, I am so, so grateful to you. And um, I don't know, I, I realize that all of us are at different places in business. Yeah. But the downside that, as I said, about having to break that partnership with that attorney yesterday is that, again, my client's livelihood, you know, yeah. three weeks ago, this money was just floating around Dallas County. Yeah. And I made the painful decision to mm -mm, can't do that. Yeah. Just, just can't do that. So, um, I have other attorney partners here in Texas now, so things are going well, but, um, this has been quite an exciting ride. So I, it, when these other cases that I have on the books close, I will double my corporate salary in six months. Wow. That's wild. That is wild. And, um, one of the neat things I think that I have at my disposal is my daughter is a realtor. Nice. My yep. sister is a notary. Fair I was enough. a notary until the other day and I forgot to renew my, <laughs> my commission. <laughs> so nice. we had the attorney. So here in this market, if I close a, an, a K, if I sign a client here, I can say the notary is on her way and it's my sister and her black Lexus RS will be pulling up at your house. So it's not some random person out there in the street or worst case scenario, I can hop in the car and go there. So yeah, I think that that lends to authenticity and it builds credibility. And that's one of the main things that I've worked on in building my brand is that I want people to know that this is not a bot. This is not chat GPT. This is, you know, so I actually call them from my own cell phone and my name comes up in the caller ID. So, um, you know, just dropping gems and I just, I love helping people. So let me stop talking, Nick, ask a question. <laughs> oh, don't stop. No, you are giving so many golden nuggets right now. So let me just highlight a few of them. Mm -hmm. Um, First off, before I before I go into that, I mean, let's let's give credit where credit was due. Like, much respect to you for implementing on what you learned, because like, yes, I I provide the information, but that's only half the that's only half. I mean, not even half. I mean, mm -hmm. it does it does no it doesn't do anybody any good. My course doesn't work for anybody if they don't actually do the thing that I tell them to do, and unfortunately. Exactly. Most people that go through a program, whether it's mine or somebody else's, they do not do the thing that needs to be done. <laughs> and I've I been have to do the person. thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been that person too. I've bought many a course and <laughs> didn't do anything with the course or watched all Guilty. the videos <laughs> and and then just said yeah, that felt was really awesome. good after you watched them. <laughs> yeah, I feel great. I've learned so much. Right. And then I find another thing and I go do that thing. And it's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but I've been that person. <laughs> okay. But you know, you went through and you you executed, you did the work. And so, you know, mm -hmm. thank you for doing that because now you have, I mean, you've helped that one lady, got her money, got her money. You're working on four other cases right now. Like that's mm -hmm. that is huge. And in the matter of I mean, you started in January, you, you said. Um, when did your first client get signed? So the one that's um, paid out, yeah. That's, that's pending. Okay, so I walked away from corporate America February 20th. Okay. Started making phone calls that week. Okay. And the first Saturday in March, whatever date that was, March 3rd or something like that, is when we met with the family. And the biggest deal, the only reason it took so long was to wrangle all of those kittens into one box. Yeah. So, uh, and finding a location. So there's a library right here at the end of my neighbor, at the end of my street. And I was like, hey guys, just come to the library and we'll we'll sign the paperwork there. So first weekend in March. Okay. So you you got your first signed deal in, in less, is it fair to say less than 60 days of taking yeah, the course? Absolutely. Okay. Which is amazing, by the way. That's awesome. Thank and then you. now you're, I mean, we're, we're at the end of October. So you're about eight months into it. You've gotten your first check over 20,000 mm -hmm. 20, net profit, it sounds like, which is also amazing. <laughs> um, and then more on the way. So that's, 
That's awesome. And let me go back now and, and just kind of highlight the things that you've said that are very key and, and very, um, I think people will benefit from. Number one, mm -hmm. you're only working Texas right now, right? That's right. So you focused in on one market and are just mm -hmm. learn the ins and outs of how it works. And I think that is, exactly. that's what I recommend. That's how I started. Because mm -hmm. when you can focus in on one area, you're able to become an expert and get the results that you're looking for. Whereas if you try to do multiple states at the same time, now you've spread your attention and you spread yourself too thin. Yes. So that's one thing that is amazing. Um, that you've done very well. One thing that's interesting too, so you you work this business with your sister and your daughter as well. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's one thing that I found a lot of my most successful students somehow incorporate their family into the business. Um whether it's a or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. I yeah. found well I wanted to make sure that I had people around me who, first of all, can grasp the vision of what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Because, you know, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell anybody <laughs> at first. Mm -hmm. um, but when I mentioned it to my daughter, she was like, Mom, are you kidding? I was like, no. She said, that is amazing. So the realtor in her was like, oh, my gosh. So I leaned to her toward uh, so some of my weaknesses and she's uh you know she's an analyst at the brain where her mom is just like the visionary hmm. but I was able to where I where I have some weak places I was able to lean into her knowledge base and you know she set me up with a CRM so then I was telling my sister about it who is great at bookkeeping and she's also a notary she's like oh yeah so yesterday when we went to pick up the check from the attorney's office, I took my daughter and my sister with me. Nice. And we even created a chain of custody document for my client. Yep. Of course, it's blurred out. But what I did when I let her know that the check was here, I created a document as like, I, you know, regarding the case, regarding the check, you have given me permission to go and pick this amount of money up. And when I picked the check up, I had the receptionist sign for it. And then I had my sister notarize it and we took a picture of it and sent that to the client to let her know that, hey, we have your money and yeah. we're on our way because this is all new and it's too good to be true. So yeah. whatever I could do to, you know, build some credibility and I just scanned it into the file. And so the attorney got a copy of it and the client got a copy of it as well. So um, we have a pretty good little team thing going on here. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love that. You know, incorporating the family is awesome. And I, I I love that you just move forward and, you know, you, you mentioned brand, but a, a brand is also, for me, this is how I look at it, a brand is who you are as a person. So I like how you have just kind of moved forward, you know, as a personalized brand to just say, look, we are local, we're real people, you're not, you, you weren't too worried about automating things and looking like a big company. And I think a lot of people get wrapped up in that in the beginning. They're like, well, should I use, should I get an 800 number? Should I use my personal number? Should I get a, a name, you know, a business, BBB accreditation? I'm like, look, those are all good things. But the biggest thing that you need to do is just connect with people, educate them on the process, help them understand that it's real and that you're a real person and you have their best interest at heart. If you can do yeah, that. And that's all right, because I really don't think the client yesterday even knows what my business name is. She yeah. knows that's Patrice. <laughs> she has no clue what business name is. And I don't think she cares. And as far as automation, when my daughter came over yesterday, she's like, oh, we got to get this paper off of your desk. I was like, no, we don't. I love paper. <laughs> <laughs> hey. She's third. So, you know, how that, that generation is. <laughs> yeah. And that's, and that's cool too. Like that's whatever system that you're going to use consistently is mm -hmm. the best system. doesn't matter if it's all online, if it's digital, if it's on a legal pad paper, like it doesn't matter mm -hmm. as long as you're going to use it right. consistently. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. and, and I just love that, you know, you use your cell phone. Like that's what I've done in mm -hmm. since the beginning. I use my cell phone, you know, because 
people will overlook the fact if you're a, if you're not like a big corporation or whatever they just want to know that you're going to do good by them and so i i think that's i love that you just you just took action and you built these things as you've gone you you've you've continued to you know improve upon them but you didn't get wrapped up mm -hmm. in the little details um yeah, couldn't couldn't do that because my husband told me when i quit my job he said the only thing your car payment is your car payment <laughs> <laughs> so i had i had to bet on me and um uh, I'm glad I did. So yeah, everything's okay. The car is still fine. I just bought it two years ago for Christmas. So I still have it. It's in the garage. Nice. And thanks to yesterday, I'll get to keep it for a few more years. There you go. Good deal. Mm -hmm. What, um, I mean, you've given some great nuggets already, but what advice would you give to someone that's considering getting into this business? Um, I think me personally, it has to be a passion for you. Like if, it. if you're not passionate about it, it's not going to work because it's like, oh, I got to go do this lesson or, or I got to do this. Hmm. But if you have a heart to help people, what better way to restore a family than to give them something that they thought they lost? Think about it. Yeah. $164,000 came into this woman's life in June that she had no idea was out there. Yeah. So I asked the question what she would do with it. She said, nothing yet. It's just going to the bank. And I am going to make some decisions a little bit later. But my kids are okay and I'm okay. And I'm just use it why if you want, you know, she That's part of my responsibility. Yeah. My conscience. If you want to do it, then do it. And if you need some motivation, just know what I learned through this program. So if there is, and, you know, uh, page all the time, and I'm one of those people I help, I have who wants to. The thing that motivates me again is insults. So, uh, I overhead read it. Did I lose you? There's a there's a little bit of a delay. Hold on one sec. Um, I don't know if it's on my okay. end or your end. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, oh no, we lost her. Let's try to get her back. Technical difficulties. I love technology when it works. And I hate it when it doesn't work. All right. What is, oh, there we go. Logging back in. There you are. We're back. <laughs> We're back after a station break. That's right. So um, what I was saying is one of the books that inspires me that kind of keeps me going uh, is Winning by Tim Grover. He was Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade's uh, performance coach. So um, I'm not really into the rah-rah stuff, but sometimes I like to read 
stories about people who I admire. I won't say that they're any better than I am, but some people who've been where I'm trying to go. So that's that's something that I like to do. And, you know, Southern Baptist girl, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is about Elisha. When he accepted the mantle to go forward, he burned the ox cart. He was an ox driver. So he burned the ox cart so he couldn't go back to his old job. Mm. And that's kind of one of those things that, you know, when I walked away from corporate America, I burned the ox cart. So i am got a car payment to pay. <laughs> oh. So um, I I encourage people to, to try it. Um, and if you're like me, when you make the investment, then you want to return on it. And if you do the work, you're going to get the guarantee. I mean, there is, I had somebody ask me, is there any guarantee? Well, no, there's guarantee that if you don't do the work, you're not going to get anything. Yeah. But if you do the work, there's enough work out here for all of us. So I, I don't believe in competition. I am all about collaboration and uh, yeah, it has just paid off dearly for me. So that's kind of, that's kind of who I am. I, I'm a, Got the gift of gab. I'm a people person. I, you know, everybody's my friend. Even people that move from Philadelphia, they're my friends. So um, I, I just wish everybody who I, who, anyone who invests in your course, they're practically there. Yeah. All you need to do is execute. Yeah. Jump out of the airplane. Parachute's gonna open. I promise you. Yeah. How have, how have you, I'm sure you've probably had some calls for maybe you've come across some negative people or some people that were not very receptive. How, how have you dealt Another, with those folks? Um, I had one a couple of weeks ago who, again, this family is across the street from the church where I met my husband. Oh, wow. I know where their house is. Yeah. And we have a mutual friend and... I was like, hey, I think I know these people. She's like, yeah, you do. And I reached out to them and there are three siblings and he doesn't get along with any of the siblings. One of the brothers doesn't get along with the siblings. And I was like, hey, you know, I had sent the emails like, hey, I'm here. Blah, blah, blah. You guys have about $90,000 and I'm right up the street. You're two exits up from me. I, I can be over there in 30 minutes blah 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 we know the same thing. and he sent me back a you know what kind of email you're a scam yeah. i'm not gonna open the door if you do i'll call the police or buddy go back to sleep whatever but um i still have his file and uh one of his nieces reached out to me last night via text she's like have you heard anything from him and i said no and i won't press the issue because when he gets tired of fighting everybody he knows somebody who's in the business so that one is here on my desk and it will be i just closed last week well in october october 2nd or whenever the meeting was the sale was so he's got a year and a half two years to to fight with people about it but before it's all over he's going to realize that hey patrice is there and he has my phone number and again we have a mutual friend so he'll be fine yeah. and um one of the things that I tell people when I get somebody on the phone, they're mine. <laughs> I know if they answer the phone, they are as good <laughs> as fine. So um, on to the next one. This is just not the right time for him, but uh, timing is everything and I won't bother him, but I will see his family at that church sometime because I drop in from time to time. So, you know, I just believe that it's going to happen. What, what God has for me is for me. So I don't need to fight, argue, bend the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Wish them a great day and like, hey, if it ever, if your mind changes, here's my information. We can pick up where we left off. Yep. I love it. Just follow up and timing is everything. Sometimes folks are not mm -hmm. ready and they'll be sometimes they become ready down the road. Right. And even if even if they never do move forward, there's always another sale. <laughs> always another auction coming up. <laughs> exactly there's an option every first tuesday in Texas. so yep. yes that's awesome very cool um man this this has been such a good good interview thank you so much for taking time out of your day i really appreciate yeah, it listen.
I am honored to do so. Um, I'm one of those people who believes in giving credit to whom it's due. And you've got, I think it's just because of your heart that so many people have follow you. You know, you've got a whole bunch of people following you, Nick. <laughs> so you're doing something right. Now, just encourage you to keep up the great work because people, you're, you're saving lives. You, we, you know, through you imparting your gift to us and then letting us kind of go and um, be God's hands and feet. That's what it's about. And, you know, restoring people. Restoration is a beautiful thing. I, I'm a four-time cancer survivor. And I tell everybody I was given 90 days to live seven years ago. Wow. So I was left here for a purpose and I just believe my greater purpose is to serve others. So in a number of means, so I just, I just do what I can while I can, and I'm happy to do it. Yeah. And the results have just been phenomenal. Well, I think that's, I think that's also a golden nugget to, to kind of, to kind of show people too, is that if you do come from a, the right place, right. Is, of serving people, mm -hmm. You're you're gonna get what you want, you know. You're you're gonna get you're gonna get compensated for your service. Um, exactly. But it is difficult. I I know it's 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 been difficult for me in the past, where it's like you know, especially when things are on the line and you got bills to pay, and it's like I really need this paycheck. You know, sometimes we forget, you know, that in order to get that paycheck, we got to serve, and we 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 put our own needs in front of the other person's. But the problem is people sense that they sense when you're trying to look out for yourself and not for them. And that's when you lose deals. Um, that's when you lose exactly. trust, you lose credibility. Um, and so I think that's another, I won't call it a secret, but probably a key to your success is people mm -hmm. feeling and understanding that you're there to serve them and that you're going to do right by them. And so they trust you and they they say, yeah, I'm going to go with Patrice, even though even though other people are contacting them, other people are mm -hmm. offering a better whatever, you know, better split or whatever, better rate doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You are winning mm -hmm. them over because because of who you are. So I think that's key. And I could never be Nick from man. Nick is smooth. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Patrice in Dallas, <laughs> but I can be the best Patrice that I can be in my authentic, authenticity with the people that I deal with. So that's the goal. And at the end of the day, we want to make sure that people get what is theirs. And I, it was like cliche, it's like, man, I'm getting people to their money and I'm getting money to the people. I was like, that sounds like something Jesse Jackson would say. Don't say that, Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm also a stand-up comedian in my next life, I think. No, I'm just kidding, but um, I love I'm it. Just, I just love serving people. So um, it's it's something bigger than me. And that's when, again, it becomes the heart work rather than hard work. It, it's the heart. I love that. Yeah, the heart work. That's good. Well, and it's also just, it's. I think it's a good reminder to folks that you don't have to be anything you're not. You know, you can be yourself and have success. And I... And this is just my belief, but I, I do think that in certain instances, there are certain people that we are called to serve. And there are certain people that I just, I am not the person for them. There might be somebody mm -hmm. else that has already been chosen or called to serve that person. And that's cool. As long as mm -hmm. they, as long as they get help, that's what matters. Right. So mm -hmm. I think that's another testament too, where it's like, you know, there, there is plenty of work to go around. There's plenty of people to help. That's for sure. And um, start with where you're at, and then you just become mm -hmm. better as time goes on. Your skills improve, your knowledge improves. And as those mm -hmm. things increase, you have a greater capacity to help more and more people. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that's it. Love it. Any final words of wisdom for folks? Mm -mm. Just, you know, do it. Just do it. Um, I am so overjoyed because me being able to own my own time and literally when I close my laptop and walk into my living room and turn on the TV, I'm finished for the day. Yeah. But I do so knowing that I have met my goals for the day 
And it's not to fund some multimillionaire's golf outing. Yeah. No, it's that I have this afternoon to go to the State Fair of Texas and get a smoked turkey leg and walk around and look like a cave woman <laughs> <laughs> eating on this turkey leg. <laughs> but um, that to me is priceless. Yes. And once, once my mindset changed to be able to realize how much my freedom means to me, not having to ask if I can check in a little bit late because I need to take my granddaughter to school because my daughter has a case at seven in the morning. No, get up, roll out of the bed and I do what I need to. Man, that is better than any corporate allowance I could have ever had because yeah. now I get to, I get to call this. And I will tell you, Nick, um, when I started, you know, one of the things that you share is that you can do this part-time. And because I had that exhortation that I had to pay my car payment, <laughs> um, I was in this office 10 hours a day. Those first weeks, yep. I was studying and I was finding lists and I was smiling and dialing. Yeah. And that's how I got this thing off of the ground because I knew the responsibility that I had. So as I started filling the pipeline, um, you know, now I don't have to stay in here 10 hours. Maybe I just work six hours, but I did put in the time and it's going to be ugly and hairy and gross and scary that first, you know, couple of months. Yeah. But once you get it, once you gain your footage, I just think it's, it's one of those things that you don't realize just every lead is a possibility. Yes. Every lead is a possibility. Where some people only want to make $10,000 a month in this business, you can make that in one call. Yep. Absolutely. We have to change how you have to look at this thing from the perspective as a business owner. Corporate America, I may have made $400 a day, but I can make $10,000 a day. <laughs> and this is if I'm doing it. Yeah. Unlimited potential. Yep. So um, let's let's just get back to the investment into your program, two thousand dollar investment that can change your life for generations. Because we're probably going to go to Costa Rica for Christmas this year because my granddaughter wants to visit a rainforest. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for that check I got yesterday. That's Costa Rica Christmas. <laughs> so um, it's life changing for me. And uh, the best is yet to come because 2023 will close out here in a couple months, but 2024, oh yeah. And with this economy, let's not even start talking about the economy and politics and what's going on. So 2024 yeah. has a whole, it's a gift that we haven't even opened yet. So I'm excited about the future. That's awesome. Uh, that's, you. that's, I'm glad you highlighted that as well, because that is very true to the very beginning is the hardest when you're just learning mm -hmm. and just getting started. It is a grind for sure. It's very tough. Mm -hmm. But once you get that foundation, like you mentioned, um, it's very rewarding. It's um, I'm right. I'm right yeah. there with you, sister. I, I love being able to take my kids to school every morning, pick them up from school. If we want to go mm -hmm. to the, the state fair or whatever, we go to the state fair. Mm -hmm. Um, I like going to places during the week and not on the weekend because there's less crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I exactly. Yep, I can do that with this business. It's those little things that are are truly valuable for sure. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and they compound. And the more it's like, you know, the more oh my gosh, I can do this, and I'm not spending 45 minutes in traffic each way going to work. And you know, gas was five dollars a gallon here in Texas, so it's just. You know, I've been able to kind of chalk all of my wins up to the decision that I made, and I had an awful August. That's what I that's what I called this past August because that's when I finally got cold feet and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? I walked away from a great job, <laughs> and then Super September happened, and October has been outstanding. So I don't know what November is going to be, but um, compounding the small things that get us to this point. It's amazing. And we have to make note of our wins. And it's like, it was almost therapy for me when I'd sign a, sign a new client and I'd go to your group it's like, hey, I got another one. I got another one. Well, those are coming through now. And those were my wins so that they were documented for those days that it's just like, I'm never doing this again in my life. No, 
yeah. I'm winning. Yep. And those wins are documented. So just one thing that somebody new coming into this business, they've got to get a notebook to write down their wins. What you started your business, you got your LLC, you know, you you made a hundred calls this month. Um, how you're following up. Just keep track of all of that for those. There'll be days when you need them. <laughs> Trust yeah. me, awful August came. Yeah. And I thought that my world was coming to an end because, you know, it was like, Patricia, you walked away from that. And my company was closes the week for Christmas. And I was like, okay, but I'll have all of Christmas to myself. You know, I can do the whole month of December how I want to. So it was a battle for me in August to, to think like, what did I do? But yesterday reminded me what I did and why I did. And I'm just excited. Yeah. I love it. it. Just love me. It. Thank you so, so cool. much. So awesome. Very cool. Thank you so well, much. Thank you for thinking of it. You bet. I appreciate you. Yeah, you bet.